Hey! How do you dim this down? If my camera falls, I'm finished. My frontal is not looking like a frontal. Guys, I've got bunny ears. Look how cute that is. Bitch. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. My ears are cute. <laughs> Hello guys, it's your girl Non Yay. I actually need to find out an intro, but I don't know when that's gonna be. I am gonna do my skincare routine. It has been highly requested, but obviously like before YouTube and that. So in and also a quick eyebrow to eyebrow 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 tutorial. I'm not gonna do a voiceover because literally doing a voiceover is looking a bit too long to do. So I'm just gonna literally do it as we go along. Yeah, let's get to cracking. So, okay, in regards to your eyebrows, you're literally just going to need a cotton bud, a spoolie, a mirror in that case, a razor, I don't know what these are called, but you get the, you get the drift, and tweezers, and your removal cream. So firstly, all you're going to do is literally just brush up your eyebrows in shape to see what you basically need to remove. You're literally gonna get your hair removal cream. I got this one from Poundland, you know the vibes. Poundland is just such a shout. You know what I mean? It's just such a shout. Get your cotton bud and basically just shape the eye your eyebrows on how you want it to look like. Already looking fleeky, in it? I feel like this this technique is literally just that it makes a lot of sense because you know how you want your own eyebrows, you know what I mean? So I literally just do this every two weeks. Basically when I just start seeing my eyebrows grow left on places I don't need it to grow. I make a square so like it can look legitly like you flipping what got them wax sand out. Let it sit down for like two minutes or so Definitely some snacks. You know the ones you get your peanut and you're just shaking it to make sure that the flavor is still in the peanut. Since I've waited for like two minutes, you're gonna get your baby wipes. Oh, I forgot baby wipes in the, <laughs> in the what you need, but yeah, it's not essential. You can just get tissue. Got some Lidl, you know the vibes. And you literally just wipe it off and then you should see a difference. Some people don't like tweezers because they feel like it hurts them but I feel like I feel like it's the best thing to have in regards to your eyebrows if you want to take hair off because it takes out your hair follicles as well as your hair so it doesn't grow as fast and it doesn't grow as thick there we go so now my eyebrows are done so next I'm gonna just do my skincare routine right so what I firstly do after a long day of makeup and sweat and stuff after a motive thing I use is um, a charcoal mask you can get this from savers you can get it from like your local hair shop anywhere and it should be like around two pounds or something like that don't know or cheaper and then you get your face mask brush definitely got this from Avon <laughs> like ten years ago and that then you literally put it all over your face like so whatever Too cute. Screenshot for your wallpaper on period. <laughs> now, as you can tell, it's been, it's like, I've been around for like, let's say five minutes, and it's dried up quite a bit. When you have a face mask, common sense, you wash it. I'm now going to exfoliate my face. So, I have an exfoliator called Bulldog. I don't know where I got it from exactly, but it definitely is in super drug. I literally put dots on my face or whatever. I get my exfoliating brush and it contains like four different brushes. So it's quite litty. I think I got off Amazon. The link will be down below. Sponsored. Definitely not sponsored, but it's calm though. And then after that, you wash your face. After you wash your face, you pat it again. What I'm going to use is my Clearasil. Did I say it properly? Clearasil Rapid Action Gel Wash. 
At the time I got it from Primark, but you can definitely get it from Savers or Superdrug because it is a bait brand. So just put it all over my face, kind of like that. And then I use my exfoliating brush once again, but now with a different brush. You should be able to do this for like 30 seconds and it should be fine. You should be feeling stinging. Once you feel stinging, you're like, you're good to go, darling, you know? <laughs> After that's done, you wash your face again. <laughs> then pat your face dry again. I feel like at this point, you can feel your face smoother once you wash your face. You're like, you're washing it off. Your skin definitely feels smoother, like 100%. Focus, baby. Good, good. I'm literally just gonna use my witch hazel. You can get this from any shop, I think. That's a lie. You can get it from Superdrug. I think I saw it in Savers, but I'm not quite sure if you can. I think you can get it from the local hair shop and pharmacy. Just wipe it all over my face now. Around. And then on my neck. Hey, hey, guys, don't forget your neck. Don't forget your neck, because you know them people they are that brush their teeth, but they forget to brush their tongue. Please make it make sense. After that's been done, you literally just let it air dry a bit, air dry on your face, keeps the bacteria away from your towel from transferring onto your face. So that's why I usually do air dry my face, but right now I have no time for gossip. I'm doing the video. And then you literally just put any cream of your preference on your face. What I have is the coconut oil formula, coconut oil body lotion. I got it from PAX. So basically any hair shop, you can get it from Superdrug as well. So that is the end of my skincare routine. Um, if you like this video, do like it. Comment down below on anything extra you guys want to tell me or ask me about. I will be happy than ever to answer your questions or whatever. Anyway, safe guys. <sighs>